Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to do our last lesson for math um, for this week and we're going to do our chapter 11 review. So um, this is going to be like a review test. It's going to come for both and um, we'll do it together. I'll try to leave you something to do on your own but I need you right now to go ahead and write your name and last name at the top of the page for me please. Go ahead and write your name and last name. Over here where it says name, you're going to write your name and last name. That's it. I don't want you, I don't need you to write it in any other page, but this one right here. All right, boys and girls, so question number one. On question number one, it's more than one question, actually, because we are going to have to connect the shapes to its properties or the way they look, right? So it says over here, number one, match each shape to the group where it belongs. Hmm. So let's take a look at it, boys and girls. The first one says, um, by the way, over here we have a cone, a rectangular prism. We have a cube, a sphere, and a cylinder. Once again, we have a cone, rectangular prism, a cube, a sphere, and a cylinder. And we are going to connect these shapes to the descriptions over here. It says only flat surfaces. Which are the shapes that have only flat surfaces? So I can see the one shape, una figura que tiene flat surfaces, one of the shapes that have flat surfaces is this one. So that's one. Esta es una de las figuras que tiene superficies, todas las superficies son planas. So this is one of the shapes that all the surfaces are flat. This is one of them. All the surfaces are flat. Which one is the other shape that all of its surfaces are flat? ¿Cuál es la otra figura en la cual es todos sus lados, todas sus caras son Todas sus caras son planas. Once again, we need one more shape here. Which one is it? Could it be the cone? Could it be the cube? Could it be the sphere or the cylinder? We're looking for one shape, one more shape, that all of its sides are flat. Estamos buscando una figura en la cual todos los lados son planos. Which one could that be? I'm missing one more here. Me falta uno más que quiero que busquemos. ¿Cuál es la otra que todos los lados son planos? All right, boys and girls, let's move on to the one in the middle. Only a curved surface. Which one is the only shape that has only curved surfaces? And if you said the sphere, you are very right. It is the sphere. The sphere only, it's completely round. Since it is completely round, it only has... Um, it only has a curved surface. All right, boys and girls, the last one, both flat and curved surfaces. Both flat and curved surfaces. So I'm going to tell you one and then you look for the other one. All right, so the cone, boys and girls, the cone has both. Let me see if I can find my cone really quick over here. This is my cone. So as you can see, the cone has both. It has a flat surface at the bottom, and it is, um, and it has a curved surface around, all the way around. All right. So boys and girls, that's the cone. Which other shape has both flat and curved? This is curved. You see, this part of here is curved. Which one other has both flat surfaces? and curved surfaces. Hmm. We already used this one, this one, and this one. We only have two left. All right, boys and girls, once again, ¿cuál de, cuál de estas dos figuras tiene ambas superficies planas y superficies curvas? Aquí estamos buscando la otra figura que tiene superficies planas y superficies curvas. All right, boys and girls, we are moving on to our next one. It says, combine a cylinder and a cube. Choose all the new shapes you can make. So, I, with this, you are going to be circling 
or actually you're gonna bubble in you see these bubbles you are going to fill them in if you see these shapes what shapes do you need to see on these more complex shapes we need to see a cylinder and a cube if he has a cylinder and a cube we circle that shape or we bubble it in okay does he have a does he have uh, a cube and a cylinder you bubble it in if it does does this have a cube and a cylinder you bubble it in if it does does this have a cube and a cylinder you bubble it in all right if, if you think it does does this have a cube and a cylinder no you're right it doesn't have it all right boys and girls so i give you like a free one there let's go to the last one here we have look at this does he have a does he have a cylinder and a cube so don't forget you're gonna bubble it in there there are there are three of them you are going to bubble in three of them here three of them we're gonna bubble in three of them one of them is gonna be this one right here because he has a cube and a cylinder tenemos que coger dos más we have to choose two more there's still two more that have a cylinder and have a cube cuáles son las otras dos figuras que tienen están compuestas de un cilindro y un cubo un cylinder and a cube which are the other two shapes that are made of a cylinder and a cube this one is made of a cylinder and a cube right so which one other has a cylinder and a cube in it? all right boys and girls so um no david okay entonces se los voy a tratar de explicar en español cuál de estas figuras tiene un cubo y un cilindro I already did this one, ya hice esta. All right, boys and girls, so let's see. Let's take a look at this one over here. It says, build and repeat. Choose yes or no. Can two of these make these? Yes, if we put one more next to it, it can certainly make that shape that you see here. Looks like two towers, so we bubble it in. All right, boys and girls, so we, we bubble in with what says yes. Yes, because why? If you draw another one, this is what you're going to have. All right, boys and girls. Can two of these make these? Look at it. Can a cylinder and a cube underneath make these? And if you said no, you are so bright. And it's uh, because as you can see here, boys and girls, the cube was at the bottom and now the cubes are the other way around it's kind of tricky so the last one for number three the last one says can you can can two of these make these hmm can only can two of these make this one over here well i suppose so right because we can see cylinder and cylinder and cube and cube so that is a yes. All right, make sure you bubble in inside the bubble. <clears throat> All right, I think this has to do a little with what we learned yesterday. It says, Damon built this shape. It looks like a wall, right? Choose all the shapes that Damon used. So do not forget, these are your options. You have a cube a cylinder, a sphere, and a cone. Boys and girls, which are the shapes that he used? He used two different types of shapes. He used one row of cones and one row of cubes. So, um, choose all the shapes that Damon used for me, please. You're going to bubble them in. Bubble them in. Quiero que marquen por dentro todas las figuras que Damon usó. I'm going to help you out with, with one. Damon use cylinder. I'm sorry, this is not a cylinder. He used a cone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I went off completely. So the, he, this is a cone, and he used how many cones did he use? He used one, two, three, and four cones. The cylinder is this one over here. He didn't use a cylinder. Which one was the other shape that he used? Did he use a sphere or did he use a cube? It's your choice. 
Well, it's actually not your choice, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for you so you can answer this one on your own because it's pretty easy. So look at the shape that he used. What shape do they have? Which one did they use? All right, boys and girls, we're moving down to number five. Number five, here we go. It's a circle the number that makes the sentence true. There are blank circles on a cylinder. How many circles do we have in a cylinder, boys and girls? If you draw a cylinder, how many circles can you find in a cylinder? Well, you can find one over here at the bottom, and you can find one over here at the top. So how many circles are in a cylinder? One at the top over here, one at the bottom. How many cylinders? Two. You are so smart. Two cylinders. All right, boys and girls, here we're moving on to question number six. Oh, that's my grandma's name. Sarah wants to trace a circle. She finds this object. Boys and girls, what object will be good to trace a circle? So all the sides on a cube are shaped like a square. All the sides on a cube are shaped like a square. Can you trace a circle? With a square? No. But if you turn these around, you'll be able to use it to, to trace a circle. This part over here can help you to trace a circle. So we put it away. I'm sorry about that. We we circle it. Because this is the one that it would be good to trace a circle. But then guys, we're going to draw the objects that Sarah will trace. So Sarah, if Sarah traces this object, this is what she's going to get. She's going to get a circle, boys and girls. So you draw me a circle. All right, we're almost done. Let's take a look at question number seven. Which shape has only two flat surfaces? Which shape has only two flat surfaces? And we just spoke about it. Is it the cube? Is it the cylinder? Is it the cone or the rectangular prism? Which one do you think it is? I say the cylinder has one one flat surface on the top, one flat surface on the bottom. That's why it can stand. No shape can stand on these on these tippy toes. No. Uh, so the only the only shape that can stand with either ways besides our our uh, square shapes is the cylinder. All right, boys and girls. So go ahead and let's move on to um, number eight. This is the last one on this page, number eight. It says, look at the shape. How many cubes are used to make the shape? How many cubes are used to make these shapes? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you go ahead and write it down, all right? There have been six... Um, there, there are six cubes on that wall. All right, boys and girls. So I believe we're ready now to turn to our very last page. And here we go. Yay, we're almost on for this week. Yay. Ellen built this shape. That was David. Which shape did Ellen use? Circle them. So look at, look at the shapes that she used, boys and girls. There is a cylinder here, and there is a rectangular prism. Can you circle the shapes that you see on top? Can you, see, can you circle them at the bottom? You need to circle them. If you can find the, the cylinder, which one is the cylinder? You're going to circle the cylinder. Which one is the rectangular prism? You're going to circle the rectangular prism. Vamos a circular a rectangular prism. So once again, this is a cylinder. You look for the cylinder, un cylinder. Buscan el cylinder y lo circulan. And then uh, a circle one. I'm sorry, no. Which shape did Ellen use? Circle them. So um, which one is the one at the bottom? This is a rectangular prism. Which one is a rectangular prism? You circle it when you find it. Boys and girls, uh, we finally are going to draw another way to combine the objects. So which one could be another way to combine the objects? Hmm. We can say that we will put, we will put, um, we will put, 
we will put a stray size together, right? We will put all we will put um I'm sorry I think I made a mistake for this one let me get my eraser and I don't think that's gonna fit so we will put all all shapes with Let's see, maybe I can put it over here with flat surfaces together, right? And the ones that have um, curved and flat, we can put them together. We can make another group with them. We will put all shapes with flat surfaces together. And then we'll put the ones that have both flat and curved, we'll put them in another group. So it's a good time now, boys and girls, if you need to if you need to pause the video, if you need to use a restroom, whatever you need. If you just need to pause the video to copy, you can do so as well. All right, boys and girls, so we're going to our last question. This is the last question of our um, chapter review test. And it says, choose all the shapes Hector used. Look at that castle. That's a beautiful castle. Which of the shapes that he used? Well, I can see, I can see cylinders here, 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 and on the other side. I can see only a little bit, but I know that it's, oh, I know that it's right there. It's in the back. So I have one, two, three, and four on the other side. How many cones do I have? I have one, two, three, and four. And finally, boys and girls, I have over here a cube in the middle right so um boys and girls what are the shapes that hector used did he use a cube do you see a cube yes i do do you see a rectangular prism no i don't see any rectangular prisms do you see cylinders oh yes i do i see four of them do you see circles or spheres no i don't see any spheres do you see cones no i don't see any cones the only shape that I can see in use, it's the cylinder. And with that, boys and girls, uh, well, not, not actually only the cylinder. We can also see, yeah, you're right, we can also see the cone. Yes, I can see the cone over here. And I can also see the cube. All right, boys and girls, so you mark your answers, please. Look at the shapes we can that we can see here. You're going to bubble them in um, on your on your pages. We can see a cylinder, we can see a cube, and we can see the cone. Now it's your job to bubble them, to, to bubble them in. Es su trabajo marcarlos dentro de la cajita, ¿ok? Quiero que ustedes solitos los marquen. ¿Cuáles son las figuras que vemos aquí en este castillo? Las vamos a buscar por aquí. Well, boys and girls, have a wonderful weekend once again. And I'll see you next week. Bye.